Hi, welcome back to the channel. Here at Smith on Beauty, we talk about all things skincare, hair care, and makeup. And today it's the turn of Trini London. I am doing a full get ready with me, a full face of makeup using all Trini London products. First up, we're going in with the Trini London BFF De-Stress Tinted Serum. So I have the shade Jemima, and I'm just gonna go in with one pump to begin with. I, to be honest with you, this is not all I normally use. And the great thing about this is that you can simply spread it with your fingertips. So great for if you're in a rush or on the go, you don't need to worry about application with brushes or sponges. It just sits beautifully on the skin, just really lightly pressing it into your skin with your fingertips. Another thing about this one is I find that some sort of BB creams or tinted moisturizers can be too glowy. Now this gives you a lovely radiance without that kind of oily finish. I'm just adding the tiniest amount to any more areas of imperfections just because the natural skin does show through with this one which I personally really like. So the key thing as to any foundation is to keep this in the centre of the face and then spread outwards. So you can see a lovely glowy finish and it just evened out any imperfections beautifully. Then we're going in with BFF Eye Serum Concealer. And what I love about this is the metal applicator. So this is a shade Maisy, and I simply just dab this on under the eye. And you can use the applicator to distribute that, or you can use your fingertips. So I'm just gonna finish that off, just dabbing it into the skin, taking it onto the cheekbones too. Now I'd say this is a natural coverage concealer, so lightweight, natural, it will add that radiance to the under eye and will stay covered all day. Like I say, no creasing at all with this one I find. And let's face it, it is so hard to find a good concealer kind of past 35. I know I've really struggled to find one that doesn't crease or look cakey. So this is a lovely one for every day. And you can also add powder to this too if you want it to last extra long through a whole night. So I'm actually going to go in with blush next and I'm going to go in with one of the lip to cheek products and this is the shade Lady J. So again this is another one that you just need your fingertips for, no brush required so I just simply pat that onto the cheekbones bringing it up towards my temple. This doesn't dry down too fast which means you can leave it a little while before you blend it, no problem. And then simply just pressing that into the skin which gives you such a natural and glowy finish. Absolutely love that shade. It's such a pretty rosy shade. And then if you want to, you can always add more really easily, just building that up. With this one, because it is not too pigmented at first touch and it is so easy to build up, it's so much more workable than a lot of the high pigmented liquid brushes that are out at the moment, which if you pop a little bit on, you can pop too much on straight away and it's really hard to then blend that out. And now we're going in with an eye to eye shade and this is the shade Virtue. So this is a lovely golden shade. It's quite natural and has a lovely glimmer to it. It's kind of like a wet look finish. But because of this lovely gold champagne shade, I do find that this one goes with absolutely everything. So if you're looking for your first eyeshadow shade, this one is a good one to pick from Trini. Also really nice to just take to the brow bone to just highlight that area and lift that area a little bit too. We all like that extra bit of glow, don't we? And I'm actually gonna deepen that up a little bit, going back into the blush shade and taking that into my crease, the outer edge of the eyelid and then under the lash line as well. So simply taking swirling motions with my brush. And that's one thing I really love about these kinds of shades. So I've gone for a quite a light toned blush and again, a light toned neutral eyeshadow. But that means they're multi-purpose. So this blush, if it was any darker or any more pink, I'm not sure it would work on the eyelids. And the same with the eyeshadow, I'm actually going to use that on my cheekbones as a highlight. So I love a multi-purpose product. I'm gonna go back into the eye shade and then just take that to the high points of the face as that highlighter. Honestly, I think this is so much nicer than so many highlighters I own. So that just teaches you, you should always play around with your products, maybe use a blush on the lips, a liquid blush on the lips, um, an eyeshadow as a highlighter. You can find some amazing combos. Such a natural radiance. 
obsessed. So I've just applied some mascara off camera. I have used the Ilia Limitless Lash Mascara today, which is the best mascara for length. It just gives such a lovely, lengthy look to your lashes and wears perfectly throughout the day. And for the final touch, we're gonna to go back into the blush here and apply it to the lips. It is called Lip to Cheek. So this is really great for a monochromatic look. And here we have it, the final look using all Trini London products. I'm obsessed. I just love the whole monochromatic feel with this beautiful dusty rose pink shade from Lady J. If you've got any questions about makeup, do let me know in the comments below. And if you have any more brands you'd love me to test, do let me know. Hope you've enjoyed today's video and I'll look forward to catching up with you again soon. Bye.